You want to know my new dream? <laughs> Are you matching, basically? Yeah. It's just absolutely magical right here, right now. And I don't know who I am anymore. <laughs>
I might go run to a little tiny cute neighborhood grocery store. Nothing has my heart more than, well, boats and then small little grocery stores. They make me so happy. But um, I have a little story time for you. <laughs> so you might have seen I came from Washington to California and I ate something bad in Washington. I don't know if I got food poisoned. I don't know if I got glutened. I really don't know, but I was messed up. Like my stomach had not hurt that bad in quite a while. And so I'm so beyond thankful that I had my probiotics with me because I doubled up on them and I think I bounced back quicker because of it because it was really bad for a couple days and then I like doubled up, bounced back. So thankful that I brought my little travel pack of seed and I'm getting to work with them on today's video yet again. I do still have a code from them and I've had so many people message me being like, thank you, I listened to you talk about this for a year or whatever and I finally committed, you use your discount code and I have noticed a noticeable difference in my digestion and my you know frequency and my bloating and my skin and hearing everyone's personal testimonies makes me continue to be so excited to get to partner with a brand that makes people's lives better so i have code mikkel that gets you 15 percent off of your first month i'll have the link down below but if you haven't heard me gush about them over the years <laughs> they are a symbiotic so I'm sure you've heard about probiotics. I call them the little good guys, the little good soldiers in your digestive system. But this also has prebiotics, which is how they get the name symbiotic. And it's basically like a double capsule system. So you see this outer green capsule, that's the prebiotic. And inside there's a secondary capsule, which is the probiotic. And probiotics are living things. They could die. They could die because of heat. They could die because of stomach acid. In fact, I bet most of the common brands of probiotics you get at the grocery store, you have to find them in the refrigerated section because otherwise they will die. Not seed. The seed is very smart. They created this little capsule system that protects it. So I can throw it in my bag, take it on the airplane, just have it wherever in my car. And I know that they're still going to be effective. They're going to survive, deliver to my colon where I want them. And there's so many different benefits. The main benefits that I noticed are gastrointestinal and uh, immune function in my skin. I noticed a big correlation in my dermatological health as well. Um, but you know, there's like cardiovascular benefits. There's, there's so many correlated benefits to taking a good, strong probiotic every single day. And this has 24 strains, which is another thing I am incredibly impressed by. Um, so this has been something that I've been doing every single day for a while and travel, it's safe on butt. You know, the risk for having an upset tummy is higher when you're traveling. And so this truly actually saved my butt this week and I'm very thankful. So thank you to Seed for partnering with me on this video. I'll have that link in that code, all the information down below. I'm also gonna link just some different studies. If you wanna read the research, they've put in a lot of research. They're honestly far more intentional than any other brand I've looked into. Um, and I've had some people be like, hey, can I have more specifics? I'll link that too, if you're curious and looking into it. But I'm gonna run to this cute little grocery store. You wanna see it? It's so cute. I got a gluten-free sandwich here on my last Sabbath on a Sunday and I might just pick pick things out to like make for dinner with Jordy when he gets off of work today. I think that that could be really fun. So let's go see what they have. Look at this cute little Gilmore girls of a small town <laughs> grocery store and everything is natural and organic. Isn't that fun? And look at all this produce in here. Let's go in. So much organic produce. And I remember seeing all these really fun gluten-free like fresh pastas when I was here last. I kind of feel like a gnocchi with a pesto would be a really fun, easy dinner, and maybe a protein and some veggie on the side. I just feel like the store is made for me. There's so many cool brands, like, oh my gosh, <gasps> gluten-free cookie dough. I figured we could make some good out of the gnocchi, the pesto. I got some spicy Italian sausage, mushroom, Parmesan, tomato and broccolini. And I feel like who knows how that'll all come together as like one dish or some sides, but we will, we'll, we'll figure it out tonight. Good morning. 
had a lovely little acai bowl slash watch the ocean date with Jordy this morning as you probably just saw and he's off to the studios to record and I'm off to adventure with you. I think he only has a half day today but um, I want to go check out some of the thrift stores, vintage stores, almost there's like no, I'm sure there is, but I feel like there's no normal boutiques here. They're all secondhand which makes me so excited. I just, I love it. I'm really excited about it. There's this really cute one that I just peeked into called captain's helm and it's like a coffee shop and a secondhand store and then they also have like cute home decor stuff and i kind of want to start there and just see if we find anything really cute depending if we're successful or not there's so many other spots nearby and uh check it out let's do it walking up to it right now and it's next door to revolution coffee where i got toast with jordy in the last vlog and i think out of all the coffee shops in oceanside this one's my favorite so far i've only tried like maybe four but this little strip right here very cute lots of lots of cute things this is kind of fun because we get to try on and store together um i also found this chore jacket it's $60, so it's a little pricey for second hand, but the four pockets, I really am having a thing with like pockets on jackets and shirts this year. And then I found two possible pairs of jeans, these black ones, Cascade Blues. I've never heard of it, but they just look like they would fit really well. They're super high-waisted if they fit. And then these vintage Wranglers look like they would be a good length. So jeans are tricky. All of my fellow hair girlies jeans are hard so low expectation for those let's start with those first pants flop this is what i mean peach girlies tight on the butt too loose on the waist it's just it's for everything but i'm hope uh i'm really not actually hopeful but it would be awesome if these fit next i'm so bummed because it's hard to find pants that are good length and i love the length and the wash of these but they're like so baggy around the crotch and around the waist. And part of me thinks maybe I could get them taken in because they're a good price. And like, look at that wash. It's so nice. But I think that even if I got like darts put in, this would still be happening. So I think I gotta say bye. Look at the rise though. It goes so above my belly button, which is what I want. Ugh, so close. So I was unsure how the bottom of this one would fit me, but the fact that it like naturally tapers in, just like putting it on, it wants to just almost like look tucked, even though it's not tucked. I think it's really fun. I like it a lot. I don't know how flattering it is, but like it does feel retro, almost Americana. The price is good. I'm gonna sit on it and think about it when I try on the, I'm, I feel like this is gonna be the winner. It's the most expensive thing. Ugh, let's try it on. I love it so much. I have a button just because I don't have an undershirt to wear open with it, but I'd probably wear it open. I mean, I could show you. I'm wearing a bralette. I've showed bralettes on the channel before, um, but I feel like it is so fun. It is so fun. I would for sure wear this, and I feel like if I'm iffy on something, that means it just needs to be a no, but if I saw this from across the room and ran to it and was like, I love this, then I would probably wear it, and I don't have a white jacket, so... I live in a cold state now, a state that actually gets cold, so I actually will wear jackets. Can we just take a minute for all those pocket details? Can we just, can we, oh. Okay, I wanna check out one more spot. This is called Ransack Vintage, according to Jordy, it's great. Um, also, can we just take a moment that I'm dating someone that likes to dress like me and actually enjoys the hobbies I enjoy? Wow, what a refreshing change, but um, yeah. Cool. When your boyfriend gives you vintage clothing store recommendations and so we're gonna see what it's like. Second store was a little bit out of my price range, but um, very cool, very well curated. I didn't buy anything there. I want to check out more of the thrift stores, but I'm also reminding myself I'll be here for like 
three and a half weeks in January, I got a little apartment on the water. I'm so excited. So we're gonna have plenty of time to thrift, but I want to have a little car chat with y'all. This was a chat I was having with Jordy the other day and it's kind of cool. So this video is coming out four days before what I kind of consider to be the anniversary of like officially initiating the divorce. And I think y'all probably know by now if you've watched my videos that I am an Enneagram 3. I would consider myself a classic achiever like my whole life, pretty much up until the last year. I was always doing side projects, hustling, working all the time, like trying to really juggle too much. And so I told myself when the divorce began to happen, I was like, Mikhail, you are going to take a year. You're going to do nothing besides, like nothing in terms of work besides what pays your bills so that you can focus on healing, settling, figuring out your new life. And so that was almost like a challenge to myself because my personality wants to do more all the time, but I actually did not have the desire and I did not have the motivation um, to even really think, I, I didn't have the capacity, nothing to think about anything besides what I had to do to fulfill contracts, to pay rent, to pay my bills. And I thought it was really interesting that this last week I noticed something turn on in my brain, something that I haven't felt in a long time of just like thinking about ideas of things I want to do and getting really excited about it. Um, I actually have this idea. You want to know my new dream? <laughs> I think it'd be so fun to open a little brick and mortar storefront called Happy Coffee, Flowers, and Gifts. Like just call it Happy and fill it with all the things that make me happy, which is coffee, flowers, and gifts. Like little candles and little cute cards and like feature local artists and just have like coffee and matcha, simple little menu, have maybe a florist that comes in once a week and makes bouquets that people can come and buy for their home or for gifts and just like a beautiful, well curated storefront with a couple little seats. And you can come in and do it all one stop shop. And like the idea of that, I was like, this might be like one of my like life things that I want to try to do at some point. And so I felt my brain turning back on and I was like, this is weird. I haven't felt that part of my brain activated and excited and motivated in a long time. And then it hit me that in a week, it will be a year. And I told myself one year, one year, do not do anything. So it's just very weird. I don't know if it's like subliminal subconscious that I told myself that and I'm nearing that point and so I'm allowing myself to turn that back on. I don't know if it's completely coincidental that for the first time I feel a spark of motivation and like I want to create, I want to do something b beyond just my everyday. Um, and I don't know if I will for a while. I know I still have more healing to do, but I think I still have more time to settle and figure out life, but it's just really exciting to feel that because that was like a very core piece of who I am and it's coming back. And I don't know if it's being in this new environment out of LA, <laughs> but also in a new environment where there is a lot of creativity and cute little artistic things that are just kind of like inspiring me and making me think about the future and like what I want. I don't know. I really don't know, but something is changing in my brain. Some sort of motivation is being reawakened and it's just really fascinating. I'll also probably do a video, like a sit down video, one year post divorce, my thoughts, my experience, what I learned, what I wish I'd have done differently, that whole thing. And I'll start thinking about that now and maybe film that in the next week or two. But I just wanted to share because I thought that was cool and I'm excited to feel that in me again. Good morning. It's my last full day here. Um, about to go to the beach and it's like gloomy, chilly, uh, fall weather. So here's my experimental beach outfit that feels very out of my comfort zone, but like very appropriate for the weather and just the general like lifestyle here. You know me, I like my little like cropped fitted things, but I have felt inspired by all of the extremely relaxed beachy fits I've been seeing out here. So we have extra wide leg, raw edge hem, high-waisted pants, and then this really fun like drop shoulder relaxed free people sweater. I came down to the beach to watch a group of friends surf. Sorry, the waves are really loud, but it's just like this lovely rocky beach. But guys, there's a pod of dolphins, like maybe a dozen of them just swimming across the, the shoreline. It's just absolutely magical right here right now. I like that Oceanside has a mix between like rocky 
shorelines where you can just walk straight down and then grab a rock and sit or like there's like really wide sandy beaches there's more like cliff sides kind of choose your own adventure in terms of beach going goes and i like it a lot <laughs> Sit on my bed, I got nothing to do Take on my phone, one second right to you I'm really bored Please don't ignore Mountain has truly just evolved or maybe potentially devolved <laughs> throughout the day. Um, I made a purchase at Target and I'm wearing my little vintage thing. You know what, I'll have, I'll have Jordy help us show it. Show a full finished OOTD. We just had donuts. Should I show them the donuts right now? Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a spot, what's it called again? The goods. Good, good donut. Good. good. Just, the, I think the, just the good. These are the not gluten-free donuts. You got a Moscow Mule mm -hmm. donut. And um, this side are Jordy's donuts, and this side are gluten-free donuts. And I got this pumpkin, pumpkin pie donut. 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 You want to tell them what our date night is tonight? That I think yeah, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna keep sacred, and so I probably won't vlog it. But what are our um, plans? We are going to go to the pumpkin patch take pictures at the pumpkin patch. <laughs> Look at those then peas. We're gonna pick out our pumpkins. And a pumpkin and a spice latte. And a PSL. Uh -huh. We're gonna go to a Michelin star restaurant in Oceanside right here, right down the street. There's a Michelin star There's Thai like restaurant two. and entrees are like 15 bucks. Yeah. I'm so excited to try it. Um, and then we might go carve pumpkins with our friends afterwards. Carve pumpkins with pals. Pumpkins with pals after and eating some. Use pins to make the perfect picture on our pumpkin. We're gonna and we're gonna some perforate postres. The pumpkin's peripheral per po post posture posture. Purposely though. Yeah, purposely possibly. <laughs> yeah. Sounds peaceful. Yeah, sounds pleasant. It does. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's go. This is Beach Mikel. Yeah. I uh slept in this shirt and just never took it off and I'm not wearing a bra with it. This is my jacket that I bought. These pants are very wide leg and I don't think that they're necessarily flattering, but Jordy said, oh no, Gen Z thinks those are cool. Yeah. And I said, I am Gen Z. These are the shoes I got at Target. Yep, yep, feet content. And I don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> my plan's just to work from Jordy's apartment until date night tonight. Um, he's doing some writing things, but I wanted to show you something that was actually not my idea, so I can't take credit for it. But to continue the pumpkin theme today, we got this spice at the grocery store. It's pumpkin spice. So it's just cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, cloves ground into a spice. Let me show you what we did to make a pumpkin spice latte. And it's actually great because sometimes I don't want sweet and pumpkin spice lattes are always so sweet. And this is so simple, it's really not even that brilliant. All you do is if you have one of these milk frothers that you know heats and steams and froths milk, put oatly in the frother and then you just put this pumpkin spice straight into the frother with the milk. And I like it a lot. I like it spicy. So it looks like this. And then you just let it froth this. Where's the button? There it is. All together and heat it up. And it makes the milk pumpkin spicy. And then I get asked a lot what my favorite Nespresso pods are. I really dislike a lot of them and I really love this one. It's the Cairo, I think is how you say it. And it's a double shot because I feel like the single shots are not enough. And they score this one, I think an eight on intensity. So it's like strong, but they have some that go up to 11. So it's not the strongest. So pop one of these in here. So look, this mug is really cute. It has Cersei carved in it. Someone made these for Jordy. He has a, a bowl, a plate, and a mug that all match. And this makes me want to get back to learning pottery. I wish that it wasn't so hard to get into a pottery class, but we're moments away from a homemade pumpkin spice not sweet latte. Got that double shot of espresso. And look at how well that just incorporated into the milk. Can't even really see, but oh, you can taste it. And we have an all spice, no sweet pumpkin spice latte. We're gonna do a little taste test accompanied with the faint sound of Jordy writing a song in the other room. <laughs> this is something funny about our jobs is we both have jobs where we make noise, but his noise sounds a lot better than mine, but taste test, okay. 
I'm gonna drink this and hop into a few hours of computer work before date night tonight. And just as a challenge to myself, some things that feel special to me, I'm challenging myself not to vlog it. Just to not feel like everything I do is worky. Even though for me, vlogging doesn't feel like work. This is just something my therapist told me to try. So I'm trying it. Um, but maybe we'll take a cute pumpkin picture. So maybe it'll be on Instagram if you wanna go check it out. But I head home tomorrow and have a little bit of time at home before I then go on a little beach trip with my parents. And I'm looking forward to that. So a lot of fun things around the corner. Um, I'm gonna end this vlog here. But thanks again to Seed for partnering with me on this video. Don't forget I have code Mikkel for 15% off of your first month. And I'll have that link down in the description box as well. It's been a, we've done a lot of good things. I All in one go, Washington, LA, San Diego, Oceanside. Cheers to that. Happy fall. I love you. And I hope you have the best rest of your day. And I'll see you very soon back in Texas. I can't help but reply with hearts in my eyes. I think I really like you, but I never say it straight to your face. But I don't